Hey everybody, Sean here, and today we'll take a look at Jeff Jansen. So let's jump right in. If you're not familiar with Jeff Jansen, you can check out his site at Global Fire Ministries. He's the founder and senior leader, along with his wife, Jan. And if we scroll down, we can see who the friends of his revival are, and we see that birds of a feather really do stick together. His crowd includes Heidi and Roland Baker, Georgian and Winnie Banoff, cell phone prophet Sean Bolts. We continue to get head-shaking Stacy Campbell. Still further, we get James Gall, Benny Hinn, and David Hogan, who claims to have raised the dead more than anybody. But it gets better. We have Bill Johnson, heavenly tourist Bob Jones, and Kat Kerr, amongst others we know. This list is shocking. Jeremy Nelson, the godfather of the New Apostolic Reformation, Peter Wagner, Chuck Pierce, Sid Roth, Charlie Shamp, Todd White, and Chris Vallotton. And we finish off with Brian Welch. Folks, if guilt by association has any truth to it, then he's working with the creme de la creme of this movement. Of course, you can go to his online store and buy things like books, videos, music, CDs and DVDs, teachings, conferences, and even merch. And if we click on the merch tab, we see all sorts of clothing you can buy. I mean, this list just goes on and on and on with stuff you can support him with by purchasing. Of course, he's been on the Sid Roth Show and sold a package called The Believer's Guide to Miracles, Healing, Impartation, and Buzzword Activation. He's worked with Kat Kerr and Hank Kuhneman with Sounds of Freedom, Prophets, and Patriots. Kat Kerr again with Activating Angels. Another one about moving forward with prophetic decrees. Spirit, Power, and Impartation with Charlie Shamp and David Hogan. And another event with these guys called Dead Racers. I'm still waiting to see the videos of all these people that have been raised. So, now that you know a bit more about Jeff, we get to the latest news posted on March 18th, 2021, saying that the military is carrying out a coup to reinstate Trump as president. I don't understand why these false Trump prophets can't just leave this alone. And I don't know why so many, even people like Franklin Graham, are so pro-Trump and think he's a believer that's defending the faith. We scroll down to see as Newsweek states, Jeff Jansen is a self-proclaimed prophet, and they got that right, and claims that Donald Trump is still the legitimate president. This is just nuts. They also point out that there were many so-called prophets predicting the same thing in 2020. There's actually a video where he says this, and I'll leave the link to that below. But these people really do have an exclusive little club that promotes the same false teachings, appear on Sid Roth to sell their products, and make lots of money selling God stuff on their sites. Now, a lot of these people are saying some truth about Jesus, and thank God that he will even use a crowd like this to save those that are truly seeking the truth in Christ. Some people have mentioned that they are looking for a solid church, and it seems like it is getting harder and harder to find one these days. Just remember that you don't have to agree on everything your pastor does as long as the core doctrines are correct. I mentioned in a comment that my pastor is Calvinist. I am not. He believes in a pre-trib rapture. I do not. But he doesn't talk about these topics at all. We go through the books in the Bible chapter by chapter and verse by verse and do a thorough study on God's word. He's got a passion for street witnessing and cares deeply about people. So keep that in mind when you are searching. He is to stay away from these name it and claim it churches, groups that focus on teaching gifts rather than the giver, preaching about your best life now, churches that focus on entertainment more than God's word, Pastors that say we are little gods and people that focus on money and seed planting. Do that and you'll be fine. Anyhow, we'll leave it here for today, but as always, leave your thoughts and comments below and until next time, take care and God bless.